Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about hacking the air gap with FanSmitter. Now, before I start, today's story is really more about cool, nerdy security research than it is practical security tips. Today's story talks about something I don't think is going to affect real networks for a long time. So if you're here just for practical information, you might want to skip today's bite. But if you're interested in some pretty cool, geeky security research, stick around. Today's bite covers something called Fan Smitter. This is actually new research that comes from the cybersecurity research team of a well-known Israeli university. Now these guys do research in how you can actually break the air gap or air gapped networks. You might know that in secure facilities one of the best ways to secure computers is with an air gap, literally disconnecting your computer system from any networks or any other computers. That way remote attackers will have a very hard time actually getting on that air gap device. In any case, this particular research team has found air gap flaws before. They shared some other research that they called Bit Whisper, which is where they could use some of the heat monitoring on uh, motherboards and CPUs to actually detect very tiny heat changes. And if they got malware on your computer, they could use resource intensive tasks to actually cause your CPU to change its temperature. And other computers in the area could actually detect these changes and might be able to transmit information just over the air through temperature changes. In this case, FanSmitter is very similar research, but in this case, they actually show how two computers can actually share information just based on the audio generated by fans inside computers. Without going into all the details, basically, if a bad guy can get malware on your computer, he can actually adjust the speed of your fan, which, which changes the audio frequency. And then if he can get another device, be it another computer or another smartphone within vicinity of that computer, I think it's within around 26 feet or 8 meters, they can actually listen to these fan noise changes to actually transmit ones and zeros. So it's just another way that bad guys can pass communications over unsuspecting vectors. When I spoke about BitWhisper before, I also talked about a very old project in the US government called Tempest, which is another kind of similar idea where the government can see what's on your monitor, a CRT monitor, based on the electromagnetic waves coming from the monitor. In any case, for security nerds, this is just a neat idea, a kind of unintentional vector or backdoor way to send information just by changing the fan noise. However, this is not very practical. First of all, the researchers found out at max they can only transfer about 20 bits of data per minute using this technique. Now, they could speed it up by using multiple fans and things like that, but it's a very slow way of passing digital information. On top of that, for this to work, Work, not only will some bad guy have to already have infected your air gap computer, and how are they going to get malware on that computer in the first place, but then they need to get another device within audio proximity of that computer so that it can hear the fan noises. So they might have to also infect another device, one that's within proximity and has an internet connection. In any case, this is really uber, super spy James Bond-like hacking techniques. I really doubt it's going to affect most folks in the real world today. So really, practically, there's nothing you need to worry about today concerning this new research. But if you are a security nerd, it's a fun and interesting read, and it should get you thinking about all the different ways we can pass information. While this is kind of science fiction-y today, I don't think it's practical today, these sorts of techniques do eventually work in the real world. So don't totally discount this research, but don't worry about it today. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.